Hey guys, Chris here. Um, just wanted to make a quick video regarding the compatibility of the DJI Phantom 2 V2 controller. Um, I think this also applies for the Phantom uh, Vision 2 Plus V2 and V3. Um, as long as they have the upgraded um, controller with the training port on the back. Um, so I'll, I'll start off by saying I've got it to work. I've, I've got the, the controller to work with um, some flight simulator software and it's all good. Um, so the video is going to show you how to kind of get this all hooked up and uh, and kind of get you flying when you're not able to take your fat on that side. So there's a couple of things you're going to need. Um, first and foremost is your DJI Phantom controller. This needs to be the new version with the um, trainer port on the back. Uh, you'll see the uh, little input here, uh, the uh, gimbal control on the side and also the built-in battery. Like I said this should be fine for the Phantom 2 V2 and the Vision 2 Plus version 2 and uh, version 3. Um, the other thing you're going to need is a male-to-male 3.5mm -male stereo auxiliary cable. So same kind of thing that you see getting plugged into your um, your headphone jack um, and you have headphones on the other side um, exactly the same kind of thing that you would use in your car if you had an auxiliary input and you were playing your iPod into your car and you were using a cable this is the cable that you use so you can pick these up for um, you know a couple of pounds if you're in the UK I'm, I'm in the UK um, or you know a couple of dollars they're, they're, they're very cheap um, thirdly the other piece of hardware you're going to need is a sound card um, on your computer so you, you know, everyone has a sound card on your computer you just need to be able to have access to the pink microphone in um, input so gen generally you have three inputs your, or three connectors at least you'll have a headphone out which will be, have a kind of green ring around it you'll have a blue line in which will have a blue ring around it and then you'll have your pink microphone in which will be pink um, also on the front of your computer you might also have these inputs or at least the headphone and the microphone in um, connected so I'm going to use the the microphone in on the front of my computer um, and pretty much that's the three pieces of hardware you need a couple of pieces of software but I will talk about that in a minute and I will put the um, description uh, sorry I will put the link in the description of where you can download it okay Hi guys, so uh, firstly sorry about the, the, the kind of camera shake and stuff I'm using the GoPro in my hand. Um, so a couple of pieces of software you need to get, you need to get something called Smart Propo Plus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'll put the link for that in the video description so don't worry about that. Um, this, uh, how can I explain it, this piece of software it basically takes an input of various kinds. Um, and then translates it almost into a viable uh, controller. Um, so, uh, if you look here, I don't know if you can kind of see that, it's kind of freaking out a little bit. Um, there's a green light kind of flickering on, and it says Sapphire Audio. Now, I don't know if you can see that, that is my Focusrite Sapphire Pro 40, which is for my studio. I'm not using this, I only use this for audio out, um, just for the monitors. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, what it does is when you plug your remote in, it's going to send out a, um, a signal um, and it's going to have a certain particular type of modulation to it. Um, and then every time you move one of your control sticks, um, so whether you you move the throttle up, um, it will change the modulation. And by doing that, it means this software will take that in and it will, it will learn the modulation changes. Um, and each different type of modulation change represents, you know, a stick, whether you're moving the throttle up or down, the yaw, or the pitch. Um, so it basically learns that and then kind of pushes it onto the software. So you need to get this free piece of software. It comes from SourceForge. Um, link is in the description. You need to go and get that. Secondly, um, 
I then have, uh, where are we? I have Heli X5. Now, I've not tried any other piece of software. I just grabbed this one um, because the, you know, I had a free demo and I thought that'd be great. Uh, as you can kind of see, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of loading up this, this screen and there's a phantom currently on the screen going mental, but that's because it thinks there's a, a signal coming in from my audio interface when it's not, it's, you know, um, you don't need to worry about that. So you need to get those two pieces of software. So you need to get the Heli X uh, 5, which you can get, you just download it and it will just run as a demo until you license it. Um, and you need the uh, Smart Pro Pro Plus. So go and get that and then you can follow the next step. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to make sure your controller is off. Um, don't worry about the kind of sticks and stuff too much at the moment. We're going to take one end of the jack and we're going to just plug it in the back of your trainer port. Make sure it's all the way in. Then we're going to take the other end and I'm just going to plug it into the uh, front input for my microphone, which is this one here. So I'm plugging it in there. As you can see, I think you should be able to see that. Um, so that's fine, that's all done. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump onto my control panel. I'm going to go to hardware and sound. Uh, then sound. I'm running Windows 7 here, so it might be slightly different for you. Um, and I'm going to go to recordings, and I can see here. Yeah, I'll bring it up. Hopefully, it'll focus on that. I have my Realtek high definition audio uh, input. So it's basically just my onboard, uh, my motherboard audio. Sorry, my sound card on my motherboard. Um, it's just a microphone input. So as long as you've got your recording, your microphone set as your input, then that's fine. Um, playback can be anything. So I've got my playback going through my um, focus rate. Um, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what you need to do, um, first of all, you're gonna want to turn your controller on. Um, then you are going to want to open up the Smart Pro Pro Plus. Um, just so you can see what I've got here. Uh, bit rate I've got set to auto. Audio level, I've got it coming in from the left hand side. Uh, you can set it to auto if you wish. Um, and you can see here I've got my microphone, Realtek audio. Uh, that's my um, onboard audio card. And I'm just using the front input. Transmitter, there isn't one here for DJI, um, so I've just got it on standard. Um, filter, there's nothing you need to worry about. In the joystick, you'll just see that you should be able to move your controls uh, up and down, left and right, um, for, all, for both your sticks. You can also move your kind of uh, GPS, ATT, and kind of fail safe switches up and down, as well as your home lock and course lock. Uh, and they should move up, I think that's what, six and seven. So um, throttle up should be three, um, and obviously throttle down. Um, pitch control should be uh, kind of one and two, that's fine. And your um, should be uh, number four. So don't worry about too much in here that the fact that if I put this up to full, it goes up to 100%, but when I put it down, it's, you know, it's not quite reaching the bottom. Don't worry about that. Um, the next thing you need to do, you need to keep this open, okay? Just minimize it. Uh, then what you want to do is open up um, the Heli X5 program. That's all loaded up. So now that's kind of sped on, um, what we need to do is go into the controller configuration. So you be able to see this up here. I'm gonna go into controller. And you should be able to see your sticks kind of moving the, the bars around. 
Um, you're going to click on sticks and follow the tutorial on here. So make sure they're in the center position. Move all sticks to the maximum and minimum positions. So again, up, fully, down, fully, left, right. It's kind of good to rotate them all around. Once you've done that, uh, hit next. Give maximal positive collective pitch. Um, alpha, I think this means uh, your throttle. So I'm going to put that all the way up and then down. Maximum roll to the right, so that's my right stick to the right, back to the centre. Pitch forward, right stick forward, up. Uh, rudder sticks to the left. Okay, um, and that's it done. Hit finish. Save it. I've already got one here. Um, just load that one actually. There you go. Hit OK. And that's you good to go. Um, yeah, so I should just be able to move up. There you go. I'm off. And we'll fly away. Alright. So that's it. Um, like I said, uh, all you need is your uh, auxiliary cable, your Phantom controller as long as it has the training port on the end and your uh, Smart Pro Pro Plus um, application in the background and then like I'm using the Handy X software um, but I, I don't see any reason why you can't use other flight simulator software don't quote me on it um, if you use it and you, 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 um, you find it works let me know that'd be brilliant um, but I don't see any real reason of why it shouldn't work um, so if you have any comments or suggestions, um, put them uh, obviously in, in the comments section or send me a message. Um, and, uh, and yeah, have fun. All right, cheers.